Hi everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a fairly simple mod. Uh, we're just going to be doing hood dampers. Let's start by popping the hood. <laughs> And um, yeah, as you can see, I already got one done and that was mainly because I wanted to see how it all went together. I purchased, I ended up purchasing just Lancer uh, hood dampers and um, yeah, so managed to uh, get the first set on. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the left side on. There is a fuse box in the way, um, so uh, we're just gonna take that off and uh, we're gonna attempt to get the second damper on. So what needs to happen is this box here needs to be removed so that I can get to this hole here so that we can uh, screw in the uh, bolt here that holds the uh, damper in place and then uh, we also have to get the bolt up here off and put the uh, bracket that comes supplied with the uh, dampers and then uh, we should be able to uh, press it in place and yeah what's cool is is that uh, one damper actually manages to hold it fairly well uh, but definitely we should uh, go ahead and do um, the second one so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now so this is the leftover hardware for the um for the left side of the uh, car, um, what we have is the damper, the bracket that goes on the hood, and then the nut and washer, and uh, this part. I don't know what it's called, but it's what uh, goes into the uh, damper to keep it from flying all over the place. <laughs> So we're just going to remove uh, this bolt, which is just a 10 mil. So now we gotta just take that guy off and we should be in business. All right, so we're just gonna install the bracket in that location of where I just installed the last bolt. Alright, so in my opinion, this is the toughest part of the job. And uh, that is we got to get our fingers in this under the frame here and thread this nut in. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, try to get that done.
Oh, got it. It was a little bit of a MacGyver job, but still managed to get it on. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna reinstall this part back on. And then, yeah, we'll uh, install the damper and open it, shut it. And yeah, I guess that'll be it for this install. And what well, we've all been waiting for. Let's get this on. So this guy just snaps on here. So it just snaps on there. And then down here. Gotta lift it up. My goodness, it's so tight. I have to give it a little pressure. All right, that was really hard to, but we'll just give it another shot. We'll give it another try. I wanted to point out that it's pretty cold today uh it's, it's a fall day so yeah it's extremely cold today my hands are freezing Holy, we got it. That was nuts. So much pressure in these shocks. All right, well, we got it. And it's starting to get dark out here, but Man, that looks cool. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it out. So there you have it, uh, the completed uh, Lancer hood damper install. Hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Take care. So, would I recommend getting these dampers? I would. If you want to save some money, definitely uh, it's the way to go. Uh, but it does require uh, a lot more effort to uh, get it installed. Um, if you're that type of person that likes, likes that, then definitely go with these. Um, if you do spend little more money uh, and you get the carbon fiber versions of them where they have uh, you know the bracket that goes here and here that definitely makes the install 
go a lot quicker, smoother, cleaner. Um, but yeah, I do recommend uh, <clears throat> going with these ones if you do enjoy putting in a little more work. But once again, thanks uh, for watching our videos and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Okay, good. Thank you. You're Thank you, Reyes. You're welcome. Mm-hmm.